Did you know that anyone on your network could potentially manipulate your entire internet experience by intercepting your network traffic? They can execute JavaScript key loggers, steal information, and change what is presented to you over the network. We'll have a look at this sort of attack and how it's done coming up. Hi, I'm Ian, contributor to Nullbyte. Today, we're going to take a look at a few different man-in-the-middle attacks. Man-in-the-middle attacks occur when an attacker impersonates network infrastructure, such as routers or gateways, in order to intercept and manipulate network traffic. We'll recreate this same sort of attack using Kali Linux, man-in-the-middle framework, and this Panda Wireless PAU09 network adapter. Let's get started. To begin, we're going to take a look at installing man-in-the-middle framework on Kali Linux. First, we'll use sudo apt-get update and apt-get upgrade to update our repositories and upgrade our system. On this system, these have already been run. Next, we can install man the middle framework by using sudo apt-get install mitmf. Press Y to continue with the installation. And once it's installed, we can go ahead and test run the program. We can run using the dash dash help flag to take a look at some of the plugins and options the program has to offer. We're going to take a look at three of these different plugins during this test. If the help screen returns, the program is ready to use. So we're just switching back to my own personal man in the middle framework install. And first we're checking for our uh, wireless network adapter. I'm using a Panda wireless network adapter. So I have two different network adapters that are shown. We use ifconfig to check for these. In this case, I use grep to search and filter this ifconfig result in order to see just my wireless adapters, which begin with WLP. Yours might be WLAN 0, WLAN 1, or so on if you're using a secondary network adapter, or something like ETH if you're using an Ethernet adapter. Once you've found the name of the wireless adapter, as is referred to on your system, we can use this to continue to add as a man the middle framework parameter. The next thing we'll want to check for is our network gateway. We use netstat-rn and see that the gateway is 192.168.0.1 on the interface that we intend to use with Man in the Middle Framework. So we can go ahead and copy that specific um, network adapter name and add it after the dash i flag of Man in the Middle Framework to specify that that is the interface that we wish to use. We're going to add a few different other parameters to this first test. So dash dash spoof, arc, and gateway in order to spoof uh, the request. We'll set the gateway to 196.168.0.1 as found using netstat. And finally, we'll add the dash dash upside down internet. This triggers the upside down internet plugin, which will flip every single image on this given test. We can go ahead and run that parameter by pressing enter and we'll see a bunch of different requests that are being made on a target machine, which is on the same network that as us. This machine will have all of the images which are able to be flipped, flipped upside down as they pass through my computer, which is impersonating the network gateway, and then being passed back to the target device in its modified form. This will run for as long as we leave it running. We can take a look here at an example of what it looks like on the actual uh, target computer. The attacker will only see this log, but a user will actually see flipped upside down images as shown here. Next, we're going to create a short JavaScript file to inject. We're echoing this parameter alert parentheses backslash quotation mark in order to specify that that character escaped hacked and we are sending that input or that um, text rather to a file called script.js. We use cat to check that this text has indeed landed in a script.js file. And now rather than using the dash dash upside down internet parameter, we're going to use dash dash inject and then another parameter dash dash js dash file in order to specify that this JavaScript file that we just created will be added to any HTML page which is able to carry it. As this runs, 
just as before, any requests will be logged. And we see that some requests are indeed being made by a device at 192.168.0.16. The script is injected into each one of these requests. And if possible, it will be run in the target computer's browser. In this case, it displays a small JavaScript window saying hacked. This could also carry a JavaScript payload or something like beef framework. The last plugin we're going to look at is JS Keylogger. This is an example of the sort of malicious JavaScript which could be injected using this plugin. This actually injects a prefabricated JavaScript uh, keylogger which is included within Man in the Middle framework. And we can see here it's been injected to the page and we can see the user type how to flip my dingus. This covers a few of the different attacks that we can do using Man in the Middle framework. It's a very powerful tool with lots of plugins and gives us a good simple way to understand the way that traffic can be intercepted and modified on Kali Linux using a Panda Wireless Network Adapter. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe as well as check out all of our new content on Nullbyte.